The UK is celebrating 60 years of the Queen's rule. The Diamond Jubilee festivities will honour the second longest reign in British history. It was the 6th of February 1952. At just 25 years of age, a young Princess Elizabeth became sovereign when her father, King George VI, died in his sleep. 16 months later, she was crowned in a spectacular ceremony. Queen Elizabeth II became a pillar of strength for the next six decades through family scandals, tabloid trouble, even fire. 1992 is not a year on which I shall look back with undiluted pleasure. And the death of Princess Diana. She was one of the first royals to be followed by TV cameras. The Queen has also travelled the world, including 16 trips to Australia. Year-long celebrations are expected to eclipse even the marriage of William and Kate. Her grandsons have already begun paying tribute. She's professional in her ability to, to know how to, to move around, to who to speak to, and, and how to also um, engage with people, you know, within a few split seconds of meeting them. And the way that she carries herself forward, smiles con constantly, able to go into a room and bring the room to life, you know, th these are the things that at her age she shouldn't be doing. Um, and yet she's carrying on and doing them, um, and not only in this country, but all around the world. Well, Royal commentator Dickie Arbiter used to be the Queen's press secretary, and he joins us now from outside Buckingham Palace. Dickie, good to see you. Nice to catch up. Um, this is obviously a pretty emotional day for yeah, the Queen, too. isn't it? 60 years, and also marks the death of her father. It is a very emotional day. I know when I was working in the palace, people used to ask me time and time again, how does she celebrate? Well, you don't celebrate the death of your father, the anniversary of that. You commemorate it. And that's exactly what she does. But having said that, she will be doing a couple of engagements. King's Lynn, where she'll be uh, looking at historical artefacts and going to an infant and nursery school in Dursingham. It means a lot to those people there. It's not, a, it, it, it's not an engagement that will set the world on fire, but it does mean a lot to the people up in Norfolk. Yeah. Dickie, you know her very well. How would you describe the Queen? Well, there are two sides to her. There's the private side, and I have been with her privately on a number of occasions, had dinner, had lunch, long chats, uh, walks with her, and she's very animated, she's very chatty. Uh, she loves the great outdoors, she loves walking, she loves riding horses, even though she doesn't wear a hard hat, just a scarf. Um, so she's very relaxed when, when, she's, when she's off duty. When she's out in public, there are people who criticise and say, well, she never smiles, she always looks very bland. And the unfortunate thing is that Whatever she does out in public, it's always looked at under the microscope. For example, if she sneezed, would to sneeze one day, there'd be splashed headlines saying she's got a cold, um, mm. when she probably hasn't got a cold. So she has to be very careful, and she's not, she's not a film star, she's not a celebrity, she doesn't go with that, that Hollywood smile all the time, but she does please a lot of people wherever she goes, whether it's down to you guys in Australia, whether it's up Scotland, whether it's in England, she does please a lot of people. Yeah. Dickie, can you answer just really quickly why the celebrations are in June and not now? Well, we're keeping our fingers crossed that the weather's going to be good in June. When they had the coronation in 1953 on the 2nd of June, it was planned then because it's allegedly summer. What did it do? It rained first thing in the morning. And we're hoping that the first weekend of June is going to be a good weekend. We're hoping there's going to be no rain, and that's why it's happening then. It also gives the Queen and Prince Philip time to go up and down the country, which they start at the end of March, go right through to the middle of July, uh, touring various cities throughout England, Wales, Scotland, and Northern Ireland. But it, it, it's important that the events take place in the summer because it gathers a lot of people, not just from the UK, but from around the world and from around the Commonwealth, and hopefully from Australia too. Yeah. Well, Dickie Arbiter, it's always good to chat to you. Thanks so much.